this is the Phantom Safety Pin, and welcome back to more Slender the Arrival. This is an addendum video, and in it, I'm going to show you how to do something pretty cool. Now, a lot of you might uh, might be aware there's an achievement in the Steam version of this game called I Escaped. It's a very difficult achievement to get, um, simply because it involves tr actually purposefully breaking the game to get it. And the easiest way by far to get it um, is to go into this level and do it. Now, to get this achievement, what you have to do is find a way to glitch yourself out of the boundaries of the level and fall off the edge of the map. Yes, you have to do that on purpose. Um, now, there's a, now, you can do this glitch in a couple levels, but the e again, the easiest level by far to do it in is Into the Abyss, which is this level right here. The mineshaft level, the level of the creepy proxy, whatever you want to call it, it's this level. To do this glitch, you have to go to up to this first generator area, and see this, see this elevator right here? You have to go up to this elevator, and there, if you look next to the elevator, there's this area with fence, that column-looking thing in the rail. What you want to do is go between this big column thing right here, and this railing, and walk straight into this pillar right here, this piece of scaffolding. Now, if everything works out right, and there we go. Now see, if you want, now see, this piece of scaffolding, for whatever reason, is not defined as a solid object. It's defined as a texture, just a bo texture box, with no, like, collision on it or anything. So you can walk right through it, walk back and forth, it'll, it, it won't react as a solid object at all. I'm in the pillar, right here I'm in the pillar, now I'm out of the pillar, in the pillar, out of the pillar. So, if you walk, again, if you walk right towards that pillar, you will glitch through it. Um, and I don't know. I don't know if that was left in on purpose, but pr probably probably an oversight. Um, you can actually look up into the shaft of the elevator from here. It's it's pretty interesting. But that's not the only thing you can walk through. Now, actually, these walls here, here, and over there are actually not defined either. This floor is that texture right there is. For whatever reason, these walls are not. Probably because they were just meant to look like texture. So if you walk through this wall you'll notice we are now outside of the level. Now, the cool thing about this, I'm actually in the texture right now, but yeah, if you walk right through the wall, up! Oh! <laughs> Not even a bug in this game will save you from me. <laughs> now, see, that's what'll happen if you walk through that wall. Um, that area of the map is not defined, as I, as I said, as a object. It's defined as a, as a texture only, so you can walk right through it without any sort of problem. Even I, I will do it again. Now, now I'm not, I'm actually not using any sort of god mode. I have no debug. I don't have the cheats turned on. There actually is a cheat function, and there's a cheat thing. If you, you hit tilde to turn it on. Um, and you can actually turn on god mode, turn on master cheats, but if you do that, you won't be able to get any sort of, um, extra bonuses for it. If you walk towards this wall, you walk around back here, and if you walk towards this wall, there should be a strip of grass. Yep. A strip of grass right here you can walk around on. Uh, I'm not sure. You can't walk that wall, however. You can walk around, like, halfway in the wall, halfway out of it, and actually, you can actually see the guts of the level if I'm careful and don't fall off the edge here. Okay. Yep. I don't know what this weird thing over here is, but <laughs> it's actually under the level, but you can walk around in this area, this little strip, this little area of grass outside the level where there's like, there's no grass or anything on it, it's just the pattern. See the skybox, you can see the guts of the level, and you can actually, you can actually like look around at, at the different textures, and there's that, the back of that tunnel, you can actually see in the tunnel. Now, you're safe out here. Slenderman won't spawn out here. The proxy will not spawn out here. In fact, they can't because this is outside of the level boundary. Uh, if you, if, uh, there's a hole in there. You can, there's a hole. You can look. You can look outside through that hole at the trees and see like all, all the different guts of the level. Very very cool stuff. And really, unless you want to go back into the level, the only way out of level is to kill yourself. Woo! Yeah yeah. Not even a bug will save you from me. What if I don't want to be saved from you, Slenderman? What if I don't want to be saved from you? I have nothing to add there. Well, that's about it for that little glitch. And again, if you don't have that achievement, 
it will net you the I escaped achievement, which will, which, which is, uh, again, <laughs> for doing that glitch. Now, that's not the only level you can do the glitch in. You can also do it in uh, the eight pages. There's an area of rock that you can walk through and get into the outside of that level in, over by the water tower area, I believe, but I can't get it to work. And you can also do it in flashback if you go through the front door, run right outside, and run straight through the gate, but you have to be pretty fast to do it. And the only way I've managed to do it that way is through debug and through uh, toggling off, um, a toggling god mode on. So I suppose I could, I could show you that real quick. I'm going to stop and I'll come right back once we get to that point in flashback. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the flashback level, uh, wherein you can actually do this glitch in this level as well. So, I'm going to shut this window because that noise is really loud, and while I explain what you need to do. Now, a lot of people have pointed out that apparently that gate back there, this gate here, is the gate that you're supposed to go back through to do this glitch. That is not the case, it will not always be open. I, in fact, I believe it's never open in this level. So, in order to do this glitch, we need to do a little bit of hacking first. We're gonna hit up, hit uh, the tilde key to open up our uh, our uh, cheat menu, our debug. We're gonna hit toggle debug. And as it says, when debug's enabled, user stats are disabled. So you can't use this to cheat. It will not let you. And we also need to toggle master, which turns on god mode, unlimited stamina, and unlimited sprint. Now. Slenderman cannot kill you when you are in god mode. However, he can still catch you. If he catches you, the game will freeze. So what you need to do is be really, really, really quick. Now, the way to do this glitch is you need to approach this front door. Now, as you can see, I'm going to open up the door a little bit more. That door out there, that gate is open. What we need to do is run directly at that opening. So here we go. 3, 2, 1, BAM! Now there's a little bit of a uh, dialogue you might not have heard Kate say earlier when I was at Let's Playing This Level. When I was playing this level, she said, Don't go outside, he's out there. And he is indeed out here. Actually, normally going outside here will result in an insta-death game over. Start the level over again. But, since we have God Mode on, that does not happen. And we are nearly, should be approaching the end of the boundary. There we are. You can probably see it. And here is the edge of the level. Right here. And you know, I've actually never explored, <laughs> like, uh, I've actually never explored these outlying areas, but that's not what we're here for. Is it? We're here, you're here to watch me commit suicide. Woo! And just like in normal mode, if you run, if you jump off the edge of the map, you will drop off the edge of the world, and it will result in the same exact thing. Same exact message. Oh, holy crap. Oh, holy crap. Lightning Illuminated Slenderman was the creepiest shit I saw today. I am I'm not, I am not, I am... So yeah, I... Whoa, what the hell? <laughs> that was interesting, game. But yeah, so, moral of the story, there is, uh, don't cheat, Slenderman doesn't like it. That was seriously creepy. Oh, boy. Well, that's gonna just about cover it for this glitch. Uh, hope that helped you in your own endeavors to get the I Escaped achievement. And thank you for watching. I'll be back with the actual addended secret levels that were added for the console release of the game pretty soon. So keep your eyes peeled for that. And until next time, this is the Phantom Safety Pin.